Hey there, my name is Miranda Lachlan and I'm a teacher at Civic Nebraska and this summer I'm teaching a course on graphic novel storytelling. Um, today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about graphic novels and show you a few examples and then talk about the first lesson which is basically designed to show you the different parts of a graphic novel and in, I will also give you my opinion on why I think this is a valuable form of art and using your voice. So the first three comics that I wanted to show you today are a Wonder Woman comic book and I wanted to show you this one because the font on it is very action like. You'll see this font in a lot of different superhero comic books like X-Men Uncanny or Spider-Man. It'll be something very bold and bright and vibrant in color. And the other thing I wanted to show you about this comic book style is the different kinds of panels that are in it. A lot of the time they'll layer the panels. So a panel is one of these boxes that is a part of the bigger story. So you'll see thin boxes accompanied with bigger boxes as well. So that's one style of doing a graphic novel. Another kind, this was one of my favorite books to read in high school. It's called Day Tripper and it's by Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba. And what I liked about this one is that the coloring is very different from that bold vibe of the superhero comic books. So I'll show you a picture. This is probably one of the brightest pictures of the book, but it's still more pastel-like. It's less shiny than the superhero comic book. And if you'll look at this page too, you'll see the beauty of these pastel colors and the family scene going on on, I think, your right or left on this side. Um, but that's a different style of doing a comic book. This is actually part graphic novel between two brothers. And um, that's something I wanted to share about this book. And this last one is called Watchmen, and it kind of is that same superhero vibe as Wonder Woman. But something that's different about this one is they will have these big pages in here where they play with the different style of comic books. So you'll see one page that is completely just one picture, while the rest is just text. And then throughout the rest of the novel, it's going to be a bunch of different panel types. So they play a lot with form and Watchmen. It's also a great one. I read this one in high school. So today I wanted to talk to you about a graphic novel that I created for this lesson and it's called Through Your Eyes, a how-to lesson on picture journaling your life. Um, I actually created this for a project because I was in school, I just graduated too, and while I was in school I did this for a project um, for my students at Norris Middle School. And what I did, and you'll see it on the Flipgrid, but what I wanted to show was the many different perspectives and stories that are coming out of this time period during coronavirus. And I, in this, I also show you, and maybe you already know too, how, the different parts of a graphic novel. So inside of this packet, there's going to be a graphic novel toolkit on how to create your own graphic novel. So you'll see this up on the Flipgrid. And I'll also post some pictures from those graphic comics that I showed you at the beginning. Um, the last thing I want to talk about are the supplies and what to do if you mess, mess up, even though, you know, mistakes are fine. And we should honor those a little bit. And I also wanted to potentially like end this with talking about some potential lessons in the future. So some things that you're gonna want are some coloring utensils. So I have a bunch of colored pencils that are really good for shading, and then markers, and some scissors. Um, something else that's really handy if you mess up. So during this, I messed, I messed up a lot. I, one of the things was I was drinking a Coca-Cola and some of the sweat dropped off the can and it landed all on the picture, so I had to redo that entire frame. So what I did, was I found a way to, and let me see if I can find a better example, actually, in this comic. Um, what I did was 
I found the panel that needed a little extra love because of my mishaps and I cut, you'll see, I cut an extra piece of paper to put on top of this. I'll zoom in a little bit too. So I messed up in this block. And so what I did is I cut a frame to fit that picture, that picture size. And I taped it on top and just drew over it. And when you take a picture of this, sorry, there's a plane. I hope you can hear me. But when you take a picture of this, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. If I were to show you this picture right now, you can't really tell that there's sweaty Coke drops on here. You, it just looks like one sheet of paper, um, which is to also say you're gonna need paper for this activity. Um, so today we covered a little bit about why graphic journaling, because you can see both the pictures and the story. You can read the story at the same time, which is really cool because you can play around a lot with that. Um, we talked about the utensils you'll need and we covered what to do if you have an oops on your graphic comic. Um, last thing is, is I am clearly looking for some ideas on things to cover for this course. Um, I do have my own personal ideas for this course, but I want to hear from you if you all have something that you want to talk about. Um, give me a shout out and we'll graph graphic journal it together. Um, but otherwise, feel free to email me if you have any questions or if you need anything. My name is Miranda Lachlan again, and my email address is m-a-r-a-n-d-a dot l-o-u-g-h-l-i-n at civicnebraska.org. So feel free to email me if you have any questions or if you have any follow-up ideas. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for checking out the Flipgrid. I know you got a lot of stuff going on this summer. Um, but I'd love to see your work too if you end up doing something. Um, give me a shout out. Have a good day and take care of yourself.